Welcome to the first vlog of 2023. It is Wednesday, Wednesday the 4th of January. Today's like my first day back making content. I started work yesterday, but that was kind of like an admin, VAT, accounting, tax, spreadsheets, budgeting sort of day. On the 2nd of January, G and I sat down and made a huge budgeting spreadsheet. I say G and I, it was mainly G. <laughs> yeah, we made a budgeting spreadsheet for the year, which I really, really want to keep on top of this year. I feel like this is the year to like not shy away from adulting and hold myself really accountable and make sure as an adult, I've got my shit together, if you know what I mean. Like, this is just a silly example, but I have like so many documents and folders and files and like letters and scraps of paper all around the house for different things. And they should all really be in one place. Like all of our car documents should be together, all of our home documents, like tax, instruction manuals, like all of that shit should be together. <laughs> And it isn't, it's like everywhere. So this is the year that I wanna sort my shit out, get really organized, be a good adult. And the budgeting is definitely one thing that I wanna stick to. So I can show you it if you want at some point, I'll just take some of the numbers out, but so you can roughly see like what it looks like. We've got columns for like money coming in and then all of our expenses and stuff, all of our things that go out every month and then where we can save money and then like it rolls on to the next month if that makes sense it probably doesn't i also have a, a separate spreadsheet because because i'm freelance and because i work for myself it's slightly different i never know when i'm going to get paid like i never know when my next ch paycheck is going to be and then i have to pay tax and vat and like commission to my agents on top of that it's really hard like i find it very hard to keep on top of my finances so i'm going to try budgeting weekly like importing everything i spent in a week in a spreadsheet and then once I've got the gist of it, once I know my rough incomings and outgoings, I'll change it to monthly. But yeah, I'm just doing my makeup because I want to show you guys what I got for Christmas this year. I did very well on the Christmas front, so I thought I'd run you through. I like being nosy and seeing what everyone else has got for Christmas, so I thought I'd do the same. That reminds me, I have got so many chin hairs that I need to pluck. I might switch the camera off for that, but yeah my chin hairs are going wild at the moment i think it's a symptom of polycystic ovaries of which i have one so i'm quickly going to do that and <laughs> probably put some base makeup on and then i'll come back and chat i've put my favorite concealer and foundation on today i've been loving using wait where's my brush gone the nars what is this soft matte complete concealer i've used nars concealers for about i want to say eight years non-stop i normally use this one but last year i bought this one and i really like it it's just got great coverage and it's very easy to kind of blend in so i just use a little kind of concealer brush like this and buff it into areas that need it foundation is just my favorite foundation ever the estee lauder hydra rescue it is incredible it's sp 45 it just it feels so natural on the skin and it completely like covers all redness and blemishes i absolutely love it i think i'm going to do a little bit of a smoky green eye today because i've been doing it a lot recently and i'm really into it so yeah christmas was nice and then it was new year we spent a year in harrogate with g's family which was so lovely i always come back from harrogate for it feeling so so relaxed and chilled it just feels like a proper holiday whenever we're there anywhere outside of london really feels like a holiday holiday doesn't it if you live here and then yeah i've been feeling how have i been feeling i've been feeling a little bit and i think everyone's been feeling a little bit like this but we all put so much pressure on ourselves don't we over new year like fresh start new beginnings and it's a lot of pressure to like change and be the best version of yourself and it feels very very overwhelming so i have been struggling with a little bit of that i'm trying to just i don't know not be too harsh on myself g and i on new year's eve we're talking about some things that we want to do less of and more of and what we want to start and what we want to stop this year and i thought that was a really way nice way to look at kind of a new year a fresh start things that you want to do more of, things that we want to do less of, instead of New Year's resolutions. Saying that we do have a word of the year each, that is something we like to do every year since we've met actually, we've liked to do like a word, what is your word of the year? My word this year, and I didn't think about this too much, so it could probably change, but at the moment it's proactive. Like I feel like I 
sit and wait for things to happen a lot and I think I need to be a little bit more proactive in every sense of the word. For example, with my spreadsheets and budgeting and like work, that's my word of the year. Things that I want to do more of, I think I want to get out in nature more. I'd like to connect with some more like girlfriends. I don't think I need to make any new friends, although that's always nice. But yeah, I want to spend more time with my friends and I want to, um, I guess I do want to make some new friends. A girl I know yesterday put up a story being like, does any girlfriends want to join or like start like a witchy circle <laughs> full of girls who just go and walks around nature and talk about, I don't know, how they're feeling, spirituality, go to the pub and drink wine and just chat and talk about books and stuff. And I was just like, that is such a nice idea to have like a, a little witchy girl circle so i replied to her being like count me in this sounds really nice so that might be a nice way to kind of connect with new people and meet some new friends definitely spend some more time in nature i want to start photography more like i really enjoy photography go to some more museums this year be a bit more cultural and in terms of stopping there's not much i want to stop apart from being mean to myself putting other people before myself worrying about more reasonless <laughs> whoa how smoky is this you can't really see it on camera what is your word of the year and what do you want to do more or less of in 2023 what do you want to start what do you want to stop i'd love to hear now that we've got to the eyes i can show you my new mascara trick because i've been using a new mascara kind of in my eye routine and it's so freaking good i discovered it by accident really i've used the hourglass unlocked mascara not gifted like i've been buying this for so long i've been using this for i want to say about three years now and um i got sent the bobby brown yeah smoky eye mascara i put a layer of this on and then i put a layer of my hourglass one and the results are so good yeah i just find this mascara to be so like it's such a nice black shade and it really lengthens my lashes and gives a really great base for the hourglass one to sit on top of I say this and then i get mascara all over my eyelid by itself it's quite kind of not subtle but i like my mascara to be a little bit clumpy sounds a bit weird this mascara by itself it's really nice it just kind of opens my eye up a bit and then i'm going to put the hourglass one on top oh yeah it just makes my lashes so long i don't know if you can see that now but they are so nice and long and like defined they're not clumpy but they're like really separated and yeah, I really like this mascara combination. I just need to apply some blush. I've been using this Laura Mercier. I got sent this just before Christmas. It's their Tinted Moisturiser Blush in Corsica. And I put a bit on the back of my hand. It's not a flattering angle. I quite like it. It's very pigmented, so you don't need very much. But it just gives a really nice natural swipe of colour. And I'm also going to use some Vive Skin Dew as a little highlight. I saw people have been mixing this in with their foundation. I, I keep forgetting to try that, so I'm going to have to try that in the next vlog. Take my clips out and I need to brush my hair through as well because I just curled it and I haven't brushed it yet. I had a little trim before Christmas and my hair feels so short now even though it's still quite long. Just gonna add some oil. I kind of liked it half up, half down, so I'm gonna do that again. Okay, so this is my makeup. Can you see? It's not really picking up on camera. It's kind of like a green, smoky eye with some shimmer. I use this Bobbi Brown palette, the Jade Stone Eye Palette. It looks like this. It's so beautiful this is in fact the only palette I took with me when I was away so today I used this one this one these two kind of just to smoke out on base and then this one along my lash line on top of my black eyeliner I also used a tiny bit of that shimmer as well okay I just want to check that I'm on time it is 20 minutes past 10 I ordered this 
months ago i think i ordered it back in early november october maybe it's the productivity method from grace beverly owner of tala i love grace i think she's really inspiring and she launched these planners i don't think you can buy them at the moment they do like runs where you can catch it but i'll put a link to the website and the instagram down below anyway i thought i'd try her way of like organizing a day and i planned my day out last night before i went to bed it looks like this quick ticks tasks projects like big projects three non-negotiable things i'll get done today and then like a timeline so my timeline wake up scan teeth because I need to scan them for my retainers. Do a workout, did that. Shower, wash style hair, did that. Makeup while vlogging, doing that now. Okay, so 11 o'clock, film what I got for Christmas. I am ahead of time. That is fantastic. Um, make and eat lunch at 12. Import vlog and edit. This is the vlog that I'm filming at the moment. Brainstorm content for social. I'm going to visit a friend's new house this evening. And then I'm going to cook dinner. Three non-negotiable things I'll get done today. Vlog what I got for Christmas, scan my teeth. <laughs> that is purely because I was supposed to scan my teeth two months ago and I still haven't. Like it's taken me that long to get round and I was like, Katie, what the fuck are you doing? Just do it. And then I've got quick ticks, like the things that would take me under five minutes. Tasks, which will take you up to half an hour and then projects, which are like bigger project things. So I filled all that out. My one habit I'm keeping today is to drink more water because I never drink enough water. So yeah, I'm I'm feeling good. I'm on time. I'm on schedule for today. I definitely need to brainstorm content ideas and I kind of need to get that done today because I'm not working tomorrow. Um, I've actually got a funeral to go to tomorrow, which is so sad. I've got two funerals in January. Um, I haven't been to a funeral I don't think in about eight years, nine years. So yeah, it's just a really shit way to start the year, isn't it? Two funerals in one month. I need to kind of get all my work done today because I need to travel down to Reading tomorrow for this service. So that is why today needs to be super, super productive. On Friday, um, I'm going away with my family for my sister's birthday. We're going to Centre Parks. Um, hopefully Jeannie, my niece, will love it there like there'll be stuff for her to do and it'll be nice for us to get away and spend some quality time with my sister um she she didn't have the easiest year last year um and so yeah this will be a nice start to the year for her and we'll all get to spend some quality time together i will vlog that um i really want to do laser tag no one else really wants to do it with me apart from g <laughs> so it might just be me and him doing laser tag in a rainy forest in january but Okay, let's crack into some of the bits that I got for Christmas. Hopefully you guys will find this interesting. Look at Maurice in the background. Why is he so cute? If you have someone with a birthday coming up soon and you want ideas, this might be nice. Or if you're just nosy, like I am, I love seeing what people got for Christmas. So my managers at Gleam got me a really thoughtful gift. Um, I'm currently reading, I'm going to see... I'm currently reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, the, I think it's five book trilogy. That that means it's not a trilogy, isn't it? <laughs> it's five books in the series, I might be wrong about that. Um, I'm currently on the third book, which is called A Court of Wings and Ruin, I want to say. Um, and yeah, I've just been obsessed with this series. The writing sometimes frustrates me, like the um, adjectives are a bit repetitive. But the storyline i can't deny is fab it's so good it's really fast paced i found kind of sexy and steamy it's fantasy which i've never really read before i've just been obsessed with the books and i like i've been reading every single day every single night for hours because i just can't put it down the books are quite big as well and the fact that i'm getting through them quite quickly is saying something so if you're if you're interested in reading a fantasy um i'd really recommend kicking off with this one i've just been really enjoying it so my managers bought me <laughs> this series this is i think it's called the defy me series again it's like five books and it's similar fragile teenage girl is held captive locked in a cell by the re-establishment this is no ordinary teenager julia is both a threat and the most powerful weapon they could have a touch from her kill and one touch is all it takes. 
so it's kind of again a little bit fantasy but a series that one of my managers thought that if I was enjoying Court of Thorn and Roses that I'd really enjoy this so let me know if you've read this series um I need to add it to my Goodreads want to read list so I can keep a track of it but yeah but I thought that was such a thoughtful gift I'm really into my books and I want to read a lot of books this year so this would definitely get me on my way I got so much lint chocolate for Christmas I asked my parents for the like lint Lint's website had like a nut set and I'm obsessed with hazelnuts so in that set I got a big fruit and nut a white chocolate with almonds hazelnut lint balls <laughs> these hazelnut milk chocolate kind of squares these are so good this one is one of my favorites it's the les grands and it's got hazelnuts in this is the dark one but the milk one is also really delicious <laughs> i've i literally have got enough lint chocolate now to last me a, a year like this will take me so long to get through i'm also trying to be quite healthy at the moment because we've got our honeymoon very soon and i don't want to feel kind of sluggish for it i want to feel good about myself in a bikini so the fact that i've got all this chocolate temptation around me is not doing me any favors um i'm hiding it up here until after the honeymoon it's also the lint hazelnut chocolate spread here it's like lint's version of nutella so i can't wait to try that i might do a little tiktok review of that when i open it a couple more foodie bits i always get one of these like celebration boxes from my parents the night before christmas like christmas eve evening i get a box of like chocolate and some pajamas um i need to show you the pajamas i got because they're so beautiful um but yeah more chocolate <laughs> i always put dr pepper on my christmas list dr pepper is such a treat for me i love it every single year it's like yeah a six pack of dr pepper i'm obsessed with but i need to put these in the fridge and g also got me some hotel chocolate and um, hazelnut hot chocolate i don't have a velvetizer but i do have like the cheap version of it like one i'll put a link to it down below but it just like whisks up and heats up your milk and like whisks the chocolate in so yeah he got me loads of these which i'm very excited about i've already had one and it was delicious my sister got me a tamagotchi which is so cool i was absolutely obsessed with my tamagotchi when i was younger like obsessed and this is like it looks like the original one the image of the little tamagotchi is so funny so i can't wait to put that on and start playing with it and then i got a couple of really lovely candly bits again i always put a diptyque limited edition christmas candle on my list i kind of have collected those for the past i want to say seven years every christmas either i've treated myself afterwards or put on my christmas list for the diptyque limited edition candle and i knew by the descriptions this year last year that i wanted this one this is called the etin cells i think this is still available online actually i was hoping it was going to go into um sale it hasn't <laughs> otherwise i would have stocked up but it smells so good oh it's like a spicy biscuity caramel coffee just like a spicy sexy smoky i think the main thing is smoky man and the packaging is gorgeous i could actually dig out all of the previous christmas candles from dipty can show you because every year they're just beautiful kind of nice and then so this was from g and then my mum knew that i also wanted one but she didn't know what one so she got me the set of minis which is so nice um i'm already burning the blue one downstairs but this has the green the red and the blue and they're all so beautiful this one is kind of like a pine I want to say like a fruity fir pine tree oh it's so nice love 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 them my best friend's mum who I've known since I was a baby got me my wedding perfume in candle form which is so so thoughtful like the loveliest Christmas present so for my wedding I mixed up Jo Malone's Scarlet Poppy and Myrrh and Tonka and this is the Myrrh and Tonka candle I will never ever want to burn this because it's so beautiful and i don't want it to run out it's my problem with candles like if i get a nice one i never ever want to use it oh it's just the best smell ever i haven't actually put perfume on yet today so i might go and pop that on a couple more bits 
she got me <laughs> this guy i think it's called a cute uterus she is like the most thoughtful partner ever for the past few months he's been trying to help me find something that will help my period pains i get such bad period pains every month i've kind of worked out that every other month is particularly bad and i think that might be because of my polycystic ovary like the one that the one the ovary that has the cysts on but every other month my period is particularly painful he bought me this electric like heated massager for period cramp which i used i should actually probably do a proper review of it because i didn't like it that much and i need to explain why um but yeah for christmas he got me this which is like a heated lavender sack that you put in the microwave and it's actually a really nice size to kind of tuck down your pants or pajamas or trousers and um, it heats up really nice and warm and it's just that comforting like hug that you need on your womb when you're on your period so yeah i've been really enjoying using this it's much safer than a hot water bottle as well because it won't burst you can kind of be in control of it a little bit more and it's so cute I got a couple of books. <laughs> this one is really funny. My dad found that there was a, an actual Dr. Maurice who had written books. And so he got G and I two of his books. Dr. Maurice Gouet. Gouet. And this is called What the Doctor Saw. And it's like true stories of Dr. Maurice, a well-known figure in Irish medicine. I can't wait to read this. It's like little short stories from this doctor. Very funny that there was an actual Dr. Maurice. And look at him. What a, what a gem of a human being. I got a book called A Spoonful of Murder. I haven't read this. Let me know if you have. It will go on my bookshelf. And I also asked for this this is the script of a performance that i saw back in gosh when was that 2013 2015 performance i saw starring ben wishaw my favorite actor it's called bacchae and it was the story of bacchus the greek god dionysus um, and this was kind of where my love of Greek mythology kind of stemmed from. It was such a good performance. I'd love to re-watch it. The music in it was fab. And there's a line in here that I want tattooed on me. I've wanted it tattooed on me ever since I saw the performance. So I'm really excited to have the script to read now. Love it. Love it. Here's that other Dr. Maurice book here. <laughs> my parents got me a couple of t-shirts. Oh, one of my Christmas present t-shirts is in the wash. This is a My Favourite Murder one, which is so freaking cool. Absolutely love that. And my mum also got me a Morrissey t-shirt. This is apparently from his official website. And this is one of my favourite, I think actually, yeah, top three Morrissey songs. It's called Life is a Pigsty. <laughs> this is the t-shirt on the official merch store, which is so funny. It kind of looks like a little, yeah, Bambi life is pigsty which is a bit of a juxtaposition i also asked for the uniqlo bag in a different color so this is like a a brown absolutely love that basically i did very well this christmas another book here the cat who caught a killer have you guys read this i think it's about a a cat detective which is so good i love the theme of my presence this year it's so funny my main present from g is downstairs i'll show you that when i next go down but my mum also got me this for my office for my gallery wall and i've never seen anything like this before how cool is that it's like a little hanging plate almost with this really kind of gothic macabre weird print on it of two birds in love i can't wait to put that up i think it's gonna go so well on this gallery wall that is a little rough look at everything i got for christmas i did very very well this year oh g's parents also got me a couple of lush bits i got snow fairy which is one of my favorite shower gels a bath bomb which i've already used got some really nice socks as a joint present they got us some new kitchenware which i need to show you as well because i'm obsessed with it Oh, I really can't wait to put this up here. Maybe up there, or I could swap a few around, maybe down here. That reminds me, I've also got another thing to hang on my gallery wall. This, I found this cigarette card from the like early 19, 
hundreds at a flea market and I had to get it and frame it. I've got a couple here already. The reason I'm so obsessed with collecting these cigarette cards is because of Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> In the game you collect cigarette cards which are like little collectibles from cigarettes. That is so twisted isn't it that cigarette packs were made to be collectibles like the the thought of it is ridiculous it's so bad but um i didn't realize they were a real thing whilst i was playing red dead redemption and then we found some in a flea market antique store and i was like oh my god they were real and ever since then i've just been like wow that's crazy this one is my favorite plant it's a bunch of hydrangeas i thought it was beautiful so i'm really excited to add this to the collection maurice what are you doing he's getting in the box that had all my presents in <laughs> one of my main prezzies from g this christmas was a lava lamp it's so cool it's heating up so i've only just turned it on but i'll show this in next week's vlog properly when it's all moving but it's one of the like original it is the original lava lamp very very cool just put a jumper on and i'm making some lunch made the nicest lunch yesterday so i'm basically copying it today i've got some brown rice on the go and some courgette and carrots that i've sprinkled with some like vegetable stock i think that's a really nice way to get flavor without like yeah it's nice and cheap isn't it but i've also got here some radish oh no i forgot to put garlic in with the veg garlic and radish and i've got some coriander and i've also got some chicken that i cooked up yesterday i don't i don't know if i can be bothered to heat this up how how would i heat the chicken up babe just in the microwave will it be dry yeah I'll chuck it in with the veg wrap it in full and put it in the air fryer i've tried really hard on the presentation let me know what you think a bit salad a bit veg good chicken rice with a little radish on top I have just changed again. <laughs> I've put some black trousers on and this blazer, which I haven't worn in ages, but I really wanted to. Just quickly gonna brush my teeth and then we are going to our friend's house. He's just got like a top floor flat apartment that we're going to see. Reckons it's gonna take us 20 minutes. What? Yeah. 20 minutes? I thought it was down the road. It is night time. <laughs> I am just taking my makeup off and then I'm going to get in bed and read some more of my book. I feel like I've had a really productive day and I think that that kind of planning system I showed earlier has kind of helped in terms of sticking to a uh, schedule. A very like, yeah, time blocking has kind of helped for me today. So I'm definitely going to continue that next week and see how it goes. I'm just using some Bioderma, which has only run out of now to take my eye makeup off and it takes it off super easily but I think I'm going to end the vlog here and get it up for you tomorrow and yeah next Wednesday there will be the first proper weekly vlog of the year so I will see you then. Mwah.